All right. Hey, Buena Viendo. Welcome in. <laughs> I'm struggling with that. <laughs> Welcome back to Wise Bites Podcast. I'm Dean, as always. I'm ho- joined by my co-host, Josh. Today, we're going to talk about two things that are uh, near and dear to my heart, language learning and AI. And we'll be focusing on the partnership between the two heavyweights, Duolingo and OpenAI. And obviously, Josh, I need the help because I couldn't pronounce those two words. Yeah, I was going to say, what part of language is near and dear to your heart? But (laughs) hey, Duolingo has been helping a lot of people because it's a language learning app that has over 50 million people using it every month. And it's got a simple interface. And you probably already heard of this one. It's fun. It has those competitive leaderboards now. They kind of gamified their whole deal. And with open AI and AI research, the lab part has been at the forefront field of it for years. When these two came together, you know, Dean, I'm really inspired that these companies merged. I mean, I just think, because how many of these companies we've been looking at and going, you are, you're a deer in the headlights. AI is going to roll <laughs> over you. Uh-huh. These guys were made for each other. Yes, they're, you're, you're right. And it, they could have been a deer in the headlights, right? Because uh, GPT-4 could have just ran away with it, but um, Duolingo has such a cool niche, and they're the way that they're bringing it together is it's awesome. Anyway, so Josh, they created uh, two new features for the app because of this GPT technology: role play and explain my answer. I was hoping you could tell us a little bit. Josh, you can you to, tell me about I'm role gonna, play? <laughs> I'm going to tell you about role play. See, I like to wear this really furry app. No. The role play is cosplay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a, a an AI conversation partner that lets you have free flowing conversations about a variety of topics. You can discuss anything from basketball to the bliss of reaching the top of a mountain. In in German or English <laughs> or French or Spanish. Okay, but. There's also explain my answer, which is an AI powered feature that breaks down the rules when you make a mistake. It gives you a simple explanation of why your answer was right or wrong and even provides examples for further clarification. And you know what I love about that? Cause I used to get crazy in uh, German. I had five years of German and where, you know, every language has a different place that likes to stick verbs. We like to go, <laughs> you know, we're going to the house. They like to go, we house they're going going. (laughs) yeah so anyway uh so uh that's funny josh because i took german too i think you're the only other person i know who took german how did you not go willkommen (laughs) (laughs) okay i have tapped out my thing um anyway so when it comes to languages and my taking german in college uh, I wasn't very good. But hey, you know what they say, Josh? In any language, practice makes perfect. And when it comes to language learning, repeated use of vocabulary and grammar, as you mentioned, in, very co- in various contexts is more effective than just memorizing rules. And that's true with just about any learning. And true proficiency, because that's what this app aims for, in a language requires conversation, ideally with a native speaker, but we don't know all the way at- We used to not have access to that till now. Yeah, but that's where role play comes in and my big furry outfit. No, no, that's where role play comes in. It gives you the opportunity to practice real world conversation skills with AI characters in the app because nothing's more real than having a conversation with your robot friend who won't judge you for wearing your Sailor Moon outfit. Although you're not talking to a live human, the AI behind the feature is responsive, interactive, and meaning no two conversations will be alike. You keep, you referred twice to your furry costume, and I want to know what it is because there was um, what was the the show where, where the, they would get hit by the chair all the time? Springer, Jerry Springer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they, I remember they had some episodes, and one was this like fetish where adults would be in diapers, and they were like a baby with a bottle. Oh and yeah. Another yeah. one was where they dressed Fur, in. Yeah. Yeah. That's furries. That's a big thing. The furries. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. what you're saying. That's what you yes. you are. Until I uh, went to Sailor Moon. <laughs> so next episode can you come in with the, yeah. your furry so, costume yeah. yeah all right all right thanks all right so let's get back to it josh if you like me you probably struggled with grammar in school um no i did it took me a, a lot to, lot oh you didn't <laughs> thanks for thanks you for mean with my segue with your long <laughs> island accent you had a problem with grandma <laughs> i i did Forget my, about it my uh my i had the same professor for journalism one two and three and uh he said 
Dean, if you want to go anywhere, he goes, you have to get rid of your, um, your local idiosyncrasies or, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, and this guy was right over the border from, yeah. from New York. And, and well, that's right. You know, obviously where, yeah. you know, East Stroudsburg is right there. I was like, well, you're not that far off from that, you know? Exactly. Yeah. But you have to anyway, remember, Dean, this is like having two language teachers. <laughs> Um, so uh, anyway, I struggled with it. Um, uh, so with this, it helps you understand the rules when you make a mistake and with the accuracy of GPT-4 versus 3, because you and I talked about that the other day, uh, you can trust that the explanations are going to be accurate and on point. Yeah, it's like having a language tutor in your pocket. And the best part <laughs> is a these big features, pocket. yeah, your big pocket. These features are deeply integrated into the app and leverage the gamified aspect of Duolingo that we all know and love. Uh, that's right, Josh. And with the ease of experimenting with GPT-4, Duolingo's team can focus more on testing and honing data sets. It's definitely changed their process internally and the features that they were going to use are now changed because they have new avenues they can explore because of the more powerful and faster GPT-4. Yeah, um, this partnership between Duolingo and OpenAI shows the potential for AI in education. You know, through this advanced AI technology, Duolingo is making high quality education available to everyone in the world. I mean, this is teaching you language like on the fly. And with the role play and explain my answer, learners can advance beyond basic proficiency in language. That is awesome. So if you're looking to learn a new language or you just want to brush up on your Italiano skills, check out Duolingo. You won't regret it. Yeah. And hey, that's all we have time for today. We're trying to keep it short and sweet. But with <laughs> all the meat, we are Wise Bites and we are out of here. All right. That was awesome. Thanks, Josh. See you.